Hi everyone, I wanted to do a short video on COVID and autoimmune disease based on some things that have come up in clinic over direct message and most recent things that were discussed at American College of Rheumatology 2020 meeting. So let's get started. There was um, a study that was an observational study that was done looking at autoimmune patients who are admitted to the hospital with COVID versus those patients who are also admitted to the hospital with COVID without autoimmune disease. The good news is that our patients with autoimmune disease did roughly the same as their outcome measures compared to patients who did not have autoimmune disease. And this is fantastic news. They looked at different things. So they looked at patients that were admitted to the ICU. They did roughly the same, autoimmune patients versus non-autoimmune patients. Patients who are on mechanical ventilation, meaning on um, either high flow oxygen or needing um, intubation. And again, it was roughly the same. The rheumatic patients fared slightly worse, but it was not too big of a difference, which is wonderful. And so these are great news for patients. And then also for the admissions, ICE in, into the hospital with um, autoimmune disease was roughly 2.8% of the patients with COVID. And that's generally the background population of autoimmune disease. So that's again, fantastic. So how is it that our rheumatic patients who are on immunosuppressive medications are doing well? And there's some thoughts about this. One is that could it be that our patients are a little bit more careful? They're masking more, they're avoiding crowds because they know that they're immunosuppressed. That's definitely a possibility. Another one is that these medications that our patients are on, could they be protective? We do know that some of these autoimmune medications are being studied as possible treatments. So that is another possibility. So those are great things that came out of the meeting. The next thing that um, did come up was what do we do with our patients who are on immunosuppressive medication? For example, TNF inhibitors or on DMARDs. So generally, we wanna keep your inflammation down. We wanna keep you healthy. So when you're very inflamed, you're more likely to get illnesses. And for that reason, generally, we recommend staying on your medication while you are um, doing fine. But of course, if you get sick with either COVID or another illness, generally, we stop your medicine and hold it until you recover from that illness. So whether it be COVID or another illness, it's pretty much the same, that we will usually hold your medications while you are sick, but we generally want you on them otherwise because it helps to keep your inflammation down in your body. Another thing that has come up is prednisone. Is prednisone something that's bad with COVID? Well, this is a still something that we don't know the answer to because generally our patients who are on prednisone tend to be our sicker patients. So our patients on steroids tend to have more active inflammation and that's why they need their steroids. So right now we don't know if it's the prednisone itself or due to the background illness that people on prednisone are tending to do maybe not as well. Um, next thing is the vaccines that have been coming out. So with the Pfizer vaccine, it's an mRNA vaccine. It's found to be 90% effective. Of course, you know, there's issues with how to store it and keep it at the cold temperature and things like that for distribution. And hopefully, you know, it's already being distributed and we can give it to our staff and population soon, particularly the long-term care facility patients. But um, generally, you know, there's no big safety concerns with autoimmune disease and getting the vaccine because it's a dead vaccine and generally dead vaccines are safe in autoimmune disease. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.